quail in my spare time. I have been working on loading for this 1907 Winchester. And I think I've got uh, something that works, you know, a cast bolt that'll work. What it is, is it's a bullet for the 357, and I got that tumble lube bowl. These are already sized, and you can see it still leaves the grooves in there. But I ended up, you know, I had to grind this. This is a 339 sizing die, and I got it lapped out, but it, you know, it, it's something that works, but it's not something you undertake. <laughs> Let's have a lot of patience because that was quite a little material to move and that's really hard material But I've got it now so it works really well and it, it throws a bullet that's slightly under a 353 and that's I was kind of looking to get 352 or 353 and I, I'm actually leaning to the 353 But that works good you know, and it retains enough of the grooves so the tumble looming stays in there. And I played around with uh, this is actually a 357 die, but I wanted to try using one of my. automatic powder measures and I played around with that and I got that working by using that 357 through the powder die and that works it speeds things up considerably but I've been happy with it I, I took and I loaded five of them up and took them out and shot them because I wasn't sure you know like my original load with this jacketed bullet, I was using 17 grains of 42.27. Now this I'm using 14 grains. And I wasn't sure if it would be enough to work the action, uh, particularly in that this bullet is lighter. This is 180, this is like 160, somewhere in there. So it's, it's considerably lighter. But works the action perfectly fine actually very pleasant to shoot so I think I got a good plinking around there so now I actually got everything set up I've got to get another four hole turret and then I'll be able to do it on the auto indexing press which will be good yeah, but that's why I wanted to make sure I could get a 357 die through and that works fine. Uh, in fact, I've heard of people loading them with 357 dies. But I've got the right reading die set for it. So they work good. And that'll save me that little bit of money that those jacketed bolts cost. But my concern was, would it have enough power to, to eject them and feed them and, and everything works smoothly. But I got a little clip of that I'll stick in here. So I'm pleased so far. You know, it's been a little bit of playing around. Or like I say, grinding out these sizing dies is not something you want to undertake lightly. But it does work. And just playing around, I've got some of these 
I think they're 95 grain for the 9 millimeter. And this sizing die will actually take those down so I could actually use those if I wanted to make a real light plinking around. You know, so that's a possibility too. The only thing then it gets fairly short, so I'd have to see if they'll feed properly, but the gun doesn't seem to be that fussy. So I'll maybe try them sometime, but for now I'll, I'll work with these. You know, it's necessary to set them out so some of the lube grooves are out of ways to keep that, that length up, or otherwise it would end up very short. Uh, probably wouldn't matter. I should probably set some back sometime just to try it, but I figured that doesn't really harm anything and doesn't catch on anything when it feeds. It seems to feed very smoothly, so no problem there. So I'll just have to take them out. You know, like I said, they feed. Everything works good that way, the functioning of them. I'll have to see how they are for accuracy. Because like I say, I did drop it from 17 grains to 14, but it is a little light of bullet. And just the shoot that I did, they seem to behave. So we'll see. I'll take it out when I get a calm day and, and try her at like 75 yards. You know, like, like I say, I can't shoot from the 100 yard one because she'll eject them out into the gooseberry bushes. But I think 75, I've got enough open ground there. I can block her up enough to get the brass back because she, even with these lighter rounds, I mean, it's still a, it's a brass flinger. 